Hi again, friends. Um, and again, it's um, uh, Eliyahu Khan uh, with with my good friend for many, many years, Jeff Goldstein. And how are you today, Jeff? I'm doing very good, thank you. Nice to be here with you and see your smiling face. How to be, which means mutual. And uh, anyway, um, to my complete <coughs> surprise, you really surprised me, Jeff. You're into something um, which is, um, which real, it, it, it really sounds sort of revolutionary in a mostly good way. Uh, I mean, I have my reservations, uh, but it sounds like, well, like a basically good thing. And uh, I'd like to talk about this thing called the Israeli-Palestinian Confederation and why you are running uh, in their elections as a, um, as a what? Representative. As a representative for Jerusalem, for Jerusalem, okay. So, um, what is that? It completely. I mean, uh, okay. What is it? Okay. Well, thanks a lot for um, asking me. Uh, basically, the Israeli-Palestinian Confederation is a, uh, a like a third government that uh, will um, be in Israel and Palestine, made up of three hundred members. It's, it's meant to be a separate group that uh, basically gives, gives ideas and gives suggestions to the Israeli government and to the Palestinian government. It's made up of Israelis and Palestinians together. Okay. Um, well, it sounds really quite nice, um, but let's talk, um, <coughs> as we say here in Israel, Tachlis, okay, uh, which means uh, hard facts. Okay, right now you have in Gaza uh, a rule. Uh, you have um, Islamic fundamentalist rule in Gaza, and they're shooting missiles into Israel. And uh, as I understand, um, they're pretty much ruling by terror over the people of Gaza. I'm sure the people of Gaza <laughs> would love to exchange them for something else. Maybe a moderate, a moderate uh, Arab Muslim regime or Coleman, all kinds of things, but um, they're under an iron um, sort of a black fist, the block of the uh, chador, of the, which the women have to wear, veiling their face. If somebody in Gaza, for instance, uh, that you mentioned, if, I know that the idea talks about the um, including uh, in the Arab areas or the Palestinian area, the Palestinian side of this, Gaza, how would they, um, how would somebody like you run for office uh, in Gaza without getting killed? Well, first of all, I'm not going to Gaza. I'm not running for office, running here and there. I, have, I understand uh, I that. Have, I have an internet site and I have my different ideas on it. And there will be uh, a conference on the, uh, at the, on the 11th and 12th of uh, December uh, of this year, 2011, in, or, uh, in East Jerusalem and one in Tolkab in, in uh, excuse me, Beit Java. Okay. And and these conferences will bring people together from different places, different candidates, and it'll be like a peace meeting or a peace gathering, where people can meet each other. All of your concern about what's taking place in Gaza, I think, is mixed up with. Uh, I mean, this is one of the problems that we have. We have many, many problems in this region. And what I look at the Israeli-Palestinian Confederation, or the IPC, is that it is like a think tank. It's a place where things can air out, where people can communicate, people can meet, ideas can come up, and with good suggestions and with good support, they can offer these ideas to the Israeli government and to the Palestinian government. Okay. So. So here you have like uh, uh, something that's working in a positive way. To deal with the problems that's present in Gaza at the present time in this conversation or in... Or, or no, I'm just asking. It's a, it's will, a there be will there be representatives from Gaza? Or do yes, they will. Or do you know? Well, and they're they supposed be? to be. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, so you, you don't know the answer how they would um, not get killed for doing something like this. 
Well, I don't know the answer for how they won't get killed, but but uh, on the website um, you can you can see the um, you can see the uh, representatives from Gaza that are running for office. There okay. are people that are running, and these people we could you could ask these questions to, because. I would be more within the Jerusalem district and dealing with okay. things fair, here. Fair, fair enough. Okay. okay. Um, all right. Um, dealing with things here. Okay. Dealing with what, for instance? Well, uh, um, I mean, you're a representative. If you want, you would be a representative of a district. Right. Okay. Of the Jerusalem district. And so what I would emphasize would be, first of all, for the all the representatives for the Jerusalem district to basically learn how to work together. So Israelis and Palestinians can learn to work together and then find solutions for the problems here, whether it's going to be uh, things like social uh, problems, where there's uh, problems with, within the families, problems with, uh, with food, or things like this. Hopefully we can bring good solutions and, uh, and help the citizens of Jerusalem in, in a way that doesn't have to deal with the whole entire uh, package of the problems between Israeli and Palestinians. There are small things we could deal with. And plus, we could bring good ideas to see how we can deal with some of the uh, problems that are, um, that are separating the two people. And I believe that the major problem for that is, first, lack of communication, lack of respect, and uh, it's a different culture. And it's not that it's cultures, different cultures are bad. They're just different. And we need to learn to respect each other's culture enough so that we can learn how to live together and work together. Um, I agree. I agree. Um, and I'm not saying um, there's a setter, um, which means okay. Uh, Jeff, <laughs> so... Um, I, I've read the pages that you gave me, that you sent to me, and it says that uh, the whole focus of this IPC, Israel-Palestine Confederation, is peace. They're not going to be on uh, dealing with um, issues of uh, building or... Um, well, or they'll bring suggestions. They can bring suggestions and they can say, okay, the Israeli-Palestinian Confederation suggests that no more building takes place within this region until um, uh, uh, until there's a, a, a really solid who who really owns the land or That's something like certainly that. Certainly, uh, uh, things connected with peace process. Is that what you're saying? Peace process, but also people living together. Okay. And, and I mean, I don't think it has any limitations. Uh, it's basically to help the people with, within this region. And why... Um, why would either the Israeli government or the Palestinian Authority in the West Bank, they don't have any power in Gaza, um, why would they care what you all think? I mean, uh, wouldn't, wouldn't they just naturally see you perhaps as a threat to their authority? Yes, they could see it as a threat to our authority, but they could also to see if, I mean, to their authority. But, but, but uh, uh, they could also see it as an opportunity to... Uh, to get more information. Y here you have a group of people that are, are thinking and, and being together and focusing together and, they, and something can be created together. And so you have something that you can give to the governments of Israel and of Palestine. Right, Suge like suggestions, like it would be, um, so people are gonna vote in your district and in all of the districts. 300 districts in all, is that right? Like that, yeah. For 300 representatives mm -hmm. uh, all over Israel, West Bank, theoretically Gaza. Um, so, okay. And uh, why would anybody care what you guys, what you guys, first of all, it's by computer or by internet election, is that right? How mm -hmm. do people vote? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but, so I guess what you say is if, if enough people voted and if there was like international support, then, then people would care and people around the world would take notice. Is that, that yeah. right? Correct. I think, that, I think that the more people that participate, the better. 
So right now, there's been a, this um, uh, initiative has been uh, really getting uh, stronger and stronger. I believe there's about uh, uh, four or five hundred representatives so far up for election, and um, they're hoping to get fifteen thousand uh, uh, people that would like to re be represented. Um, and uh, it's basically to get enough people and enough world interest so that people can pay attention. People can pay attention to it, and and hopefully we'll have good intellectuals present, uh, people that can really think and understand. I personally want to bring into this the healing aspect, because this is what I do. So I want to bring in a healing aspect to this confederation amongst the people, and also a healing aspect to the whole government, and uh, the governments of Israel and Palestine, that they may start to uh, more and more um, function in, in a way that's assisting uh, uh, humanity rather than uh, making more problems for humanity or the humans that are present within the, within their system. Yeah. Okay, I think it, it's in, look, it's intriguing. I, uh, certain things concern me. For instance, the, the, so, there, so wait, there's going to be a, um, it's called the Palestinian Feder Israel Feder Israel Israeli Palestinian Confederation. Okay, so there's going to be uh, a certain segment from Israel, mm -hmm. which you will be in that, and a certain segment from Palestine. Like, um, one of my concerns is in Palestine, it's a hundred percent Arab, whereas in Israel, um, it's um, eighty percent Jewish. And 20% Arab. There are 20% of the citizens of Israel are Arabs who are almost always um, pro, the, they support the Palestinians. So, um, so there's a little bit of imbalance there, um, and I'm wondering how that would affect the election. I know you don't really have any solutions to this. I um, think it's it's basically done by districts, and right. so and so the the people within the uh, different Palestinian communities can vote for some within their district. And the same Indeed. thing is true with people in Tel Aviv or people in Jerusalem or Haifa. They can vote for people. And but there will be districts. Arab districts in the Israel section. That's uh, true. And there will be a lot of Arab um, right. uh, districts within I, the Israel side But to tell you the truth, I don't know what they do in regard to the settlements. Because the settlements are on the 67, uh, beyond the 67 borders Indeed. of Israel. Right. So those could be considered by some be Palestinian land, and they could be considered uh, part of the Palestinian state. Uh, I'm sure. <laughs> so, uh, so all right, I don't know confusing. the answer to that. Yes, it could um, get very confusing, but I don't know if this is the place or uh, time to deal with it. Look, um, I know you mean well, and um, and I'm sure a lot, there are a lot of well-meaning behind, uh, well-meaning people behind this. I have my reservations. Um, as you know, I'm a Zionist. I came to Israel. It was my dream. And Israel has been wonderful for me. And I believe in making compromise. And, uh, and um, the, the government for this one uh, offered a lot of compromise. But, um, but in the end, they couldn't reach an agreement because there's this idea of bringing in millions of Palestinians um, who were refugees in 48. Uh, which would um, so it's quite complicated here. It's interesting, Jeff, and um, well, may it bring uh, more love and light and peace. So, how can people find out about this uh, Israel-Palestinian conference? Well, basically, you have an email address. Or they something? can go to the website, and we'll just put that onto the video. Okay. So interesting. Well, thank you for the interview, and it's nice to hear your thoughts, and uh, uh, please research it and, uh, and enjoy the research of it. Okay, so.